everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to today's 100% Honest Slime Shop review. So today's slime shop is Slime Universe Company and this is a slime shop that I stumbled across one day whilst I was browsing Etsy for slime. When I made my order, this slime shop didn't have that many slimes, so I basically bought pretty much everything just so that I could review as many slimes as possible. And what made me buy from this slime shop is one slime in particular. It is a 32 ounce slime and it just looked so magical so I decided to just go ahead and pick up a few so I could review the slime shop. So this order with shipping was 268 Australian dollars. Now 111 of those dollars, does that make sense? I think so, was on shipping. Shipping to Australia is always so so much but I love to see if it's worth it and I think it's because I bought a 32 ounce slime and 32 ounce slimes are so much bigger than I actually thought. It is so much slime, but I was so excited to finally try one out. So here is everything that I picked up. So you can see that I picked up three slimes, so just regular slimes, but then because I felt like I needed more, I decided to pick up a mystery box. So this mystery box has four eight ounce slimes in it. And one thing that I was definitely kind of wary of was if I was going to receive a dupe of one of the slimes I got. I was hoping it was going to be four completely different slimes in this mystery box to what I actually bought, but you'll see what I end up with. And also also something I noticed is that when I first opened the box there was no borax or care instructions or anything like that. But let's just jump into the slime review. I liked that all the slimes were bubble wrapped and I really like these sturdy slime containers and also their slime logo is so cute. I love the little drawing. So here is Tropical Milkshake and this is described as being a thick and glossy scented slime. So as you can see, it's a beautiful Barbie pink and this is actually my favorite color of pink. I love that pinkish purple color. It just gives me straight up Barbie vibes. So because this is called Tropical Milkshake, I wasn't sure what the scent was actually going to be, but it was definitely quite, I would say it's quite fruity but it was also a really nice light scent. I love when there's just enough scent that you get a whiff of it, but it's not super overpowering, so you get a headache, if that makes sense. And I really, really liked this slime. It was so, so thick and honestly, the best texture possible for a thick and glossy slime. So I was really happy with this one. Next we have a metallic slime and this is eight ounces and it's called Blue Moon and as you can see it's a beautiful royal blue color and there's also some adorable little moon shaped confetti at the bottom. So as you can see it's very melted but that's okay because I just went in with some of my own activator and reactivated it. The first thing I noticed was how pigmented this slime was. I love that they were super generous with their pigment and it just gave the most amazing royal blue shade and it was so magical. I love pigments in slime. When they catch the light, it's so incredible and it just takes slime to a whole nother level. Now because I reactivated it, it did lose its beautiful sheen. So I left it for 24 hours and here you can kind of see the pretty blue. If I left it to sit for a long time, it would definitely get back to that amazing royal blue metallic color. But this was a really nice slime and it was super clicky and I love metallic slimes. I hope that I get to try out more in the future. Up 
next we have the slime that sold me on making an order from this slime shop and it is a 32 ounce slime and it's my first 32 ounce slime. So this was 58 Australian dollars and as you can see it is a very large container. It's taking up my whole hand. So this is an under the sea themed slime. So we've got some coral and some fishbowl beads, some beautiful duo colored are they duo colored or iridescent? I'm not sure. I feel like they'd have a particular name, but those beautiful pearls. And as you can see, everything works really well together. And I love the fact that the coral stayed standing up. Through all of shipping, it was still propped upright. Now this was as melted as it could be. It was basically just glue. So this took a lot of reactivating because I was activating 32 ounces of slime. So this took quite a while. But as you can see, it did reactivate and then I was left with this cloudy slime, but it still had great bubble pops because of those fishbowl beads and 32 ounces of slime is a lot. And I definitely think that's why the shipping was so much, but I'm glad that I finally tried one. I felt like it was an experience. It's definitely a lot of slime and I would probably stick to eight ounces from now on. <laughs> Now, three slimes was definitely not enough for a review, so I decided to also buy a slime mystery box. Now, I wasn't sure if the slimes were going to be similar to the ones that I'd already bought. I was hoping that they would realize that I'd bought the three slimes and would put different ones in the mystery box. And yes, let's see what happens. So here we have the box and then here is actually where I found the care instructions and a bag of borax and the business card. So this was actually inside the mystery box, but I feel like it should have been also with the other slimes, but that's okay. I had a feeling it was going to be in here. So here we have all the instructions. I also noticed that the bag of borax wasn't labeled at all. And I feel like that is definitely a necessity when sending out a slime package. So here are my four eight ounce slimes and I'm just unwrapping them all and here is where I realized that I'm pretty sure I got a dupe of one that I'd already bought. So here we have the blue moon slime, that blue metallic slime. You're not um, like imagining this, this is deja vu. I now have two of these. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of this one just to show that beautiful blue metallic. But I do now have two of these. I was kind of hoping for four different ones. Up next, we have another one of the eight ounce slimes from the mystery box. Now, because it is a mystery box, I am not sure what these slimes are, what they're scented like or based around. I feel like when you get mystery box slimes, they should put a label on the slime because by then you already kind of know. And I just love to know if I'm right when I'm guessing what kind of slime it is. For example, I feel like this could be a berry themed one, maybe blueberry. It was very sweet scented and it's definitely a full floam and it was great for bubble pops. I think it may have been a school glue based floam, which isn't my favorite kind, but it was still a nice variety and I hadn't bought a texture like this in this slime order, so that was good. mystery slime is looking like a cookie dough inspired slime. So I either feel like this is cookie dough, chocolate brownie or chocolate cake batter. It definitely had a very sweet and chocolatey scent. There was also some chocolate colored foam beads and I think maybe some little sprinkles. It was a thick and glossy slime. Again, I feel like their thick and glossy slimes are perfect. The texture is so incredible and they could not get it any more perfect. It was great for bubble pops and poking and it's such a dreamy texture of slime. And I loved that amazing chocolatey scent. Thank you. 
Up next, we have the final slime in the mystery box, and it's a beautiful purple slime. Again, this was a very thick and glossy slime. I felt like this one had a bit of cornstarch in it, so it made it a little bit thicker in texture, which I loved. It definitely had a very sweet scent, kind of like vanilla mixed with a cupcake, but again, I'm not sure what this was actually themed around. I would have loved to have seen some more creative slimes in this mystery box, if that makes sense. Maybe some slime charms and glitter and iridescent flakes or beads. I just feel like these were a lot of slime bases and they could definitely be taken to the next level. But in saying that, the actual texture of the slimes were perfect and incredible. And this purple one in particular was a beautiful color. And I felt like it complemented my nails really well, which made me very happy. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about today's slime shop review and if you agreed with my comments on the slimes that I bought. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so, so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.